Inner corner, inner corner. Pull it down, pull it down. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking doing? <laughs> Can we talk about the shades? Has Tart not learned their lesson? They don't give a f My pretty mama. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury opens her booty and eats it. Eat that booty like groceries. A Santa blew my back out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, girl, put it on. Put on the lipstick, girl. <laughs> this is just vodka. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Stop it! Oh, that hurt. Good, you fucking whore. Oh, that hurt so bad. Oh, well, sucks for you, bitch. Well. Guys, if you only knew. <laughs> if this is not a visual representation of how this day went. How this past three days went. <laughs> we did a whole yeah. episode. Are we like ready to film? I don't know why I feel like something's missing. Did we're we fine. record on everything? Yeah, we're fine, right? Are the lights on? <laughs> That's what I mean. I feel like I'm going to watch- Get the light. Go out in Georgia. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to watch the footage back and I'm going to have like no fucking underwear on. Like, I don't even know. Uh, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, don't ever. Ever. Recorded a whole episode and then you texted me the day after and you said, Kevin, in all caps. <laughs> yeah. Your audio never recorded. Yep. And not to the point of like, oh, this could be saved. Salvageable. No, no. My audio was not even recording. <laughs> no. So you cannot hear me. It is a one. <laughs> it was worse than the time that you guys pointed out that my audio cut out in the yeah, episode. Which that and was then it just came a back. weird exporting error. Yeah. This? Gone. Mama. Johnny was in the room. Is Kevin in the room with us? <laughs> yeah. This Kevin that yeah. you speak of, is Could he Kevin here now? Stand up? Yeah. yeah. Like I wasn't here. Yeah. And it just, it was so sad because that it was episode a fun was, episode. It was the Sephora reviews I know. of us reacting and reading all of the reviews. And then we played yeah. a new game and everything. Oh, we came up with a new game. It was so, that sounded like Linda Belcher and I'm here for it. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh that's go put new, up my yeah. tray. Yeah. Yeah. Go put up my tray. Unfortunately, that episode, we probably won't redo it again until like next year. I know, girl, because we we to well, all of our reactions to the Sephora reviews. It's not going to be authentic and we want to keep it authentic for you yeah. guys. So in we all fairness. We have to fairness, find new reviews. Yeah. And okay, so we are recording, <laughs> We right? are recording. I this see two my... audio tracks. Okay. We'll move the game to season two, the new game we came up yeah. with. Yeah. All right. So, so what, what are we doing today? Just shooting the shizzle. We only have three episodes left of the year, guys. So oh before God, season two. Wow. I know. So we have this one. We're just going to shoot the shizzle. We're hanging before the holidays. <laughs> so. I... This is how I feel on the inside. Both of us. Hair tied like I know. Cindy Lou Who. Oh, and if this isn't a visual representation of who was Trixie and who was Katya, because we need to <sighs> talk about that since we lost that episode last week. Which we didn't forgot to talk about, by the way. So maybe oh, it so happens for a reason. About it. Nope. Oh my uh, God. Wow. Every single person said what we said, which is I'm Trixie and you're Katya. I screenshotted one. Someone yeah. said they were like, Johnny's Trixie, Kevin's Katya, but like only more deranged or something. <laughs> <laughs> they said that I was more deranged. Yeah, yeah. Not you? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, deranged yeah, look at me. you. <laughs> That's what we picked too. Where my shame wrapping fur. I know. So we were gonna we're filming two episodes. So yes. we were gonna like, okay, let's go get ready. But this first one, we were like, let's just like you know, just do it in little, PJs. Yeah, I, as I'm in the clothes I've been in. I know, all day. girl. So we are shooting the shizzle, and then we <laughs> are going to do a giant purchase or pass of all these like last minute, oh, last yeah, minute new product launches before Ugh. Christmas. Feels like such a weird time to come out with new stuff, but and that's not holiday related. Exactly. It's just which like, I almost appreciate, but it's getting lost in the sauce with all the holiday yeah. launches. So then people aren't realizing this stuff comes out, which some of it we have live in the studio. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring her out. <laughs> Let's bring her out. We'll say it to her face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have two PR boxes we're going to open because one of them is going to be actually on the PR, uh, on the purchaser pass that I pulled. The other one, we're just pretty much going to rip to shreds. How are your eyes feeling right now? Great. What are these? These are the Wander Beauty, the Baggage Claim Rose Gold Eye Patches. Yes. When I tell you I used to sweat these before makeup. <laughs> yeah. I used to make people what buy does that these. Mean? Like I would love them. Like I would oh. sweat them. Like oh okay. I, like I would not do someone's makeup at Sephora towards Ooh. the end of like work doing makeup at Sephora. I would make them purchase these before. Yeah. Or I would be like, I need your commitment to buy this whole box because <laughs> it was a pack of five or six. Yeah. And I would put one of them on them. And mm. I was like, this is gonna be part of your $50 minimum purchase. Yeah. Oh, I'm that's gonna put cool. one of these on you. Yeah. And because we couldn't make testers, they were in a box yeah. on like the travel section and lit. 
they really like are sticking very well. I yeah. hate when eye patches are like too gummy. And then they move and they slip yeah. and slide. And these I'm like obsessed with. I know. And wait till you take these off. Like we're going to leave these on probably the whole time until they are dried up. I was going to say, can we leave them on the yeah. whole time? Oh, okay. yeah. I yeah. left these on people like the duration of like majority of their eye makeup, which yeah. is like sometimes the half an hour. Yeah. And whatever. I've like, yeah. fell, like I fell asleep in these and your under eyes are like blurred. Wow. So that patch is in your eye. Can I we always talk about the I corner? always do that when I wear eye patches. I put them to like freaking me out. It's going in <laughs> Which your one? eye. Over here? That one. At in the, the end? In, inner corner. Inner corner. Pull it down. Pull it down. <laughs> <laughs> Better? Better, but not okay. great. You don't feel that? No. It, girl, it was here. I don't feel anything. It's a block in the vision. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. no. I wear contacts so I could have like an acorn in my eye and I wouldn't even feel it. Oh my God, what else? I saw... Spam a lot on Broadway. Do you know anything about it? No. Okay. So Monty Python Spam a lot. Obviously, the movie from whenever, like okay. many, many moons ago. I think the seventies. I want to say they made a musical out of it. The original musical was two thousand five, but the cast was the uh, King Arthur was Tim Curry. Okay. Um, and then David Hyde Pierce from Frasier, Sarah Ramirez from Grey's Anatomy. It was just stacked. And I honestly, before like the Book of Mormons, in my opinion, one of the first shows before that, which kind of like spoofed Broadway, like where it made fun of Broadway. When you said spoofed, <laughs> I thought of boof. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Johnny. So that wait. season two's purchaser pass is buy or boof. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Why not both? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anywho's, oh my god, it was so good. Uh, oh, right whoa. now, the new cast is uh, Michael Yuri, the actor. It's uh, why? What do I know him from? Wait, Michael, Michael Yuri, Yuri from Ugly a... Betty. Uh, he's Never like saw gay. That. Uh, single all the way. I was gonna say single <laughs> all the way. Was he the main character? Yes, single all Girl, the way with Jennifer Coolidge. If you haven't seen yeah. Single All the Way, please no go puns, watch it. Listen, in. <laughs> listen. The Britney choreography. Girl was so cringe. Watch Single All the Way on Netflix. It's a gay Christmas movie. It is so cringe, but Horrible. it's like, it's funny. It's like hate watch. Yeah. And it's like so cute though. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, but I love it. But I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's him okay. and then Taron Killam from SNL. He was also on The Amanda Show back in the day. He was her boyfriend. We talked about him. Yeah. yeah. Taron Killam was stole the show. He did. He played four parts, did 50 different accents. Oh it was God. so funny. If you go to Broadway, see Spam a lot. And it's actually like an original. Obviously, it's based on a movie, but like, I feel like your only choice is now on Broadway. Broadway is like Britney Spears, the musical, or like, it's just jukebox crazy. They did, yeah. They made no, a they Britney didn't. Spears musical, yeah. She probably had nothing to do with it. They probably, her father probably sold her, like, the rights to the music. Uh, more than likely with everything that happened, so yeah. I listened to Britney Spears' autobiography. Uh-huh. Okay, I so I have five it, times. I have it queued up on my Spotify because I didn't realize as a Spotify <sighs> premium member that that one was included. They just did that. They just started. Uh, Audiobooks. So, Funny story, uh, Casey got asked to be a part of this like Spotify study for like like going back months ago where they basically were asking customers like, what do you want to see? And he was saying his big thing with them whenever he talked to them, he was like, I want audiobooks on Spotify premium. So now it just rolled out that like you can, and it was very minimal before, but now you get access to like so many more audiobooks with and Spotify. And it's amazing that it, because I was going to go purchase it, I was assuming I even through Spotify. before. And then of course I'm like looking after you said you were mm -hmm. listening to it i was like oh let me go check it out on spotify and i'm like it comes with my premium subscription so yeah. i'm like that's lit and it's like what five hours it's so fast but oh my god i cried four times four or five times yeah you were painting the walls and then oh you were god hysterical. girl yeah it no. was <laughs> yeah literally painting I was like, your walls <laughs> like yeah. she was like full-blown like girl interrupted sent to a like institution I, I, i'm very intrigued lithium, yeah. lithium. I'm surprised they didn't lobotomize her. They probably wanted to. I know. God. That's to. why now when I see her dancing away on Instagram, I'm like, I'm shocked she's after hearing what she went through. Did you see I'm what, her, what happened worst. to her dad? No. What happened to her dad? She, um, They were like, oh, this is his karma because they were like, this is the last thing. It was a meme. It was like, this is the last thing her dad saw and it was her with the knives crossed. <sighs> yeah. He had his leg amputated, bitch. He had his motherfucking leg amputated. Are you lying? He had an infection <laughs> and he got his leg amputated. <laughs> leg uh, yeah. amputated. Oh. Yeah. Does he get to keep the leg? He, hey. Can, can you? He, can you uh, keep the leg? Probably not. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say this. Good. Or <laughs> like, honestly, once you read her book, he was, there was a part where he like, looked at her in the book, like when he was taking everything over, like got, and mind yeah. you, he filed for bankruptcy, I think once or twice in his life and uh -huh. still by the state of California got not only appointed her personal conservator of her like 
well-being and her autonomy, like when, where she could go, what she could do, whether she could drive. But uh, the conservator of her finances and the man, a multimillionaire, and the man filed for bank- bankruptcy like twice before that and somehow was appointed her financial conservator. Oh. Can you believe that? No, I really can't. And he looked at her though. at one point when she was like, didn't want to do what he was making her do or whatever. And he looked at her and he was like, I'm Britney Spears now. He put her away in the institution, like the whole nine yards. Oh my sick. God. Well, talk about karma. What goes around comes around. Now you got no <gasps> leg, bitch. Yeah, girl. Okay, Jamie Spears, which is her father, got the his leg amputated following an infection. It's unclear what the med- medical diagnosis was. It was Britney chopping off the <gasps> leg, bitch. That girl. The- infection Spears gave insight into her life and the woman in me uh, detailed the trauma. Yeah. And Justin Timberlake's also a piece of shit. Oh my God. And Kevin Federline. And Kevin Federline. I knew I've never liked Justin Timberlake and I knew he was like, you never did. No, I was, I was not bothered by him, but I never understood the mass appeal with him. Mm -hmm. Like people really ate him up. Even Mm -hmm. in sync days, they really loved him. And I was like, I don't get it. Maybe it's because I'm gay. I like one male singer for every 20 females. Same. That's a gay thing. I feel like we just don't, I don't know. I really don't like a lot of male singers. And you know what it is? Cause I don't identify with their the singing. story they're telling exactly with yeah. a woman if they're singing about heartbreak i can oppose a guy more singing to out heartbreak i tend to find usually that the woman's lyrics and it depends obviously on who you're listening to it's mm. a little bit more introspective and from the point of view that i think a woman and a gay man thinks yeah not all gay men but no we no. from that emotional more like raw place yeah. in a way and i can relate to it more because of like they're singing about how they're getting treated by men where when a straight guy's singing it's like i'll just go to the club and get a lap dance and i'm over it absolutely and yeah. that's what i mean i never yeah. really relate to a lot of male singers and his yeah. voice in particular never did it for yeah. me and no, not saying that all male singers either are always singing about that, but I no. don't resonate with lyrics that don't come from strong female mm-hmm. presences like Beyonce, Gaga, Kesha. Oh God. I mean, oh, all- even I mean, God Almighty, uh, Ellie Golding back in yeah. Hal Conte's oh, Florence yeah. and the Machine. Oh, like, yeah. The, I mean, you're talking some lyrics like that are my some of Florence and the Machine's lyrics are. Yeah. It literally can't even wrap my head around. Like they're so poetic and deep. And yeah. so, yeah, he never really did it for me. And, and way back then, even that day too, I was like a big Britney and uh, Kelly Clarkson person. And I never really loved Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. Interesting. It yeah. always sounded to me and maybe, and whatever. Yeah, I guess to their credit, because it was very well harmonized, et cetera. It sounded like it was like made robotically like it was almost just two their voices all blended Mm. together and it sounded like it was made on like a machine it didn't sound like people to me if that makes sense opposed to a solo singer and even girl groups that are very all singing together i don't love them i need to stand out like the pussycat dolls nicole shirt singers like well ali i don't like fifth harmony for that reason. absolutely i think they all like too much is going on there totally but yeah like pussycat remember oh my god when the girl I forget what performance it was. They were doing buttons. Yeah. And the girl, I forget what her name was. She stepped in front of Nicole. Yes. And like sung her part of it. And Nicole's face, I, I thought she was going to drop kick her. I and know. the heel in the eyeball. I know, girl. I was, wa- and I remember like that clip comes up once in a while and I just still watch it. And I'm like, I'm gagged. Yes. Like you really had the gall to be like, no, no, I'm singing your part. Yes. Don't you? And she sung over her yes. and then stepped in front of her. I was like, I would have just pushed her over if I were Nicole. I would, yes. have, I would have just knocked her out and been like, what's up? And let what's me get up? something straight too, because I feel like when the Pussycat Dolls were like supposed to have a revival and they came out back with that one song, React, React yeah. everybody online was like coming for Nicole Scherzinger of like, oh, give the girls more screen time or like year two, whatever. And I'm like, bitch, Nicole Scherzinger did 99% of the work for the Pussycat Dolls. She did it like it was a documentary or an interview where she said, especially back in the day, like their albums, she was like, I don't think you understand. She goes, we would finish the album. And she goes, the other girls would come in the studio to hear the album. Do you understand what I'm saying? They had nothing to do with the recording process. They had nothing. It was Nicole Scherzinger did everything. And it was basically her backup dancers. And everybody online is acting like Nicole Scherzinger is an egomaniac for I being didn't know whatever. That either. Nicole wow. Scherzinger is one of the best singers. She's a trained opera singer, is one of the best singers, vocalists, period. And people always like come for her for like not sharing the spotlight. I'm like, girl, this ain't the Spice Girls. Like, well, right. 
Yeah. Oh, that's the exception of a girl group. Yes. Only a one couple songs. Though. I don't really. Same. I don't love I their I never whole catalog. was a, like a Spice Girls Mm-mm. girl. Mm-mm. I was always very like in sync or Backstreet Boys when I was like. Interesting. Yeah. I remember back in the day, my mom was obsessed with Backstreet Boys because we got three of their CDs free at Burger King for some reason. That was a thing back in the day. Yikes. Do you remember that like era when you got like, you know, CDs and computer games and cereal boxes? No. <sighs> Well, how do I not we remember get that? You're young. Yeah, I remember I got backyard baseball in a, a box of cereal. Wow. Like yeah. in there? Or did you have to like, <laughs> did they uh, mail it to you? No, I think it was in there. It was like in the box, but not loose in the cereal. Like it was I like. I wish it was. In his sleeve. Yeah. Could you imagine just like crunching it up? Blowing like, Cocoa mm, Puffs dead. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I had it in the CD drive. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. It was already scratched when you pulled it out. Especially God. if it was in there with Captain Crunch. It would have ruined the whole thing. Captain Crunch man. I know. Oh, do you remember when tricks used to be the fruit shapes and not the balls? I do. I never really got cereal like that though. Why? I know. I don't know. My mom never really bought like Good for overly. Her, yeah. Like we only like we did it was like checks and like kicks so were the were most always zany. An old man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. honey bunches of oats. Like yeah. You in this robe talking <laughs> about honey bunches of oats and checks is very fitting. <laughs> Great nuts. <laughs> yeah. Like, raisin bran. Yeah. Ew, I hate raisin bran. There's sometimes. I don't like any dehydrated fruit. Oh, well, raisins are always dehydrated, but you know what I mean. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. I, know, I don't like raisins. Because it's gross. Yeah. It's nasty boo boo. Mm hmm overly sweet. Give me the fresh fruit, mama. Mm-hmm. Why do I want some dried up old man raisin? Yeah. And sloshing around in my mouth and chewy. Yeah. So what do you got going on? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> You got fucking nothing going on. You're coming to my house again tomorrow. It's Casey's uh, birthday. No, it's not. Girl, it's Friday. Why did I not know it was his birthday? I don't know. Oh my God. you're a piece of shit. No one told me. Yeah, because my town is like Gilmore Girls and we live right next to a park and they have a whole like Christmas festival and tree lighting. That's going to be so fun. I know. I can't wait. I love little little Christmas moment. I'm going to wear my big long fur coat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show up how you showed up. <gasps> People didn't get to... Oh, they'll see your makeup on. We recorded a special little like bonus something for the channel. Oh. But your makeup uh, two days oh, ago yeah. when we, the footage we <gasps> lost was... And at least that's more up close. So you get exactly. to see more of the makeup. Yeah. But like, oh my God, Your makeup wow. was yeah. fierce. Well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Get over well, it. <laughs> yeah, get over it. <laughs> I think it's time to oh, yeah, do purchase some our purchase path. our pass. So we're going to take a quick break. And you talking like this and smiling, your eye patches are coming off and you look deranged. All right, so why don't we do like half the list and then we'll do our PR boxes and then keep going with the uh, on the sc- what we got thrown up here. Okay. All right, so first up we have, it is called the Glass Skin Glow Beam Bright Highlighters from Revolution. And mama, let me tell you, the video I have, you can tell from the video girl, chalky dawky. Like, Even those swatches look like girl. They tried to do rare beauty. Absolutely. 100% they tried to do rare beauty. And you know what they look exactly like? Is Moira. The Moira. Which the Moira yeah. are so much better. They look exactly like Moira. And first of all, the shades. Like your revolution, you make products for two cents. You can't make more shades. No one would deep. Look at the three models we got for that. That's the deepest we could go up to. I'm tired. Revolution, honestly, is like this, not since those cream bronzers. Like, have I bought one thing from Revolution that like, <laughs> oh, girl, we got another thing from Revolution. Oh, yeah. God. Have it's I, just dis- like what, everything. what is going on? And honestly, this photo looks like they could be they could have a lot of potential. But Mm-mm. then and if you're going to say get that glass skin glow, my skin better look like glass. I am the queen of highlight on this I channel. Know. Let me tell you something right now. And I would not entertain <laughs> yeah. this parada. <laughs> yeah. No, this is an absolute pass. The The shade range is despicable. Horrible. For highlighters, you don't have to do amazing work because look at Rare Beauty. You have four shades and they're iconic. Exactly. You have five shades and they're all garbage. Gar- it's the same things. And it's all golden white pearl like (laughs) BS. I'm over it. Take it away. Okay, so these are the Milani, the color fetish lip stains. So I actually just got one of these in the mail (gasps) and Mm. I popped it on my hand and I was like, oh, it's a lip stain. Let's because with a lip stain, I'm always like, oh, let's see if I pop it on and wipe it away instantly. Am I going to have color stains immediately? Okay. 
And they posted what I love too. They posted side by side photos of it freshly applied and then blotted. So like wiped off. When I tell you these are incredible. Yeah. I did get a shade that I'm not so pleased with, but I'm going to try and make it work with a brown lip liner because it's the Mocha Mommy or Mahogany Mommy. No, Mocha Mommy is the <laughs> Fenty. Mahogany Mommy. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Mahogany Mommy. Is it? Yeah. yeah. No, it is. The Mocha Mommy is a Fenty bronzer. Okay. So this one is Mahogany Mommy. Girl, yeah. No, thank you. That's my only... I, like, I wish I got the pink. I know, girl. When I was pulling these, I, I was, was like, pissed. that is your judge. I was no. like, really? You sent me the mahogany mommy and I couldn't get the pink? Do y'all know me? I know. I know. Oh, my God. Milani barely sends me anything. But if they send me these, I'll save you the pink. Oh, my God. Because you were saying so they're like... Uh, initially, before oh. you got it, you were saying you thought they were duping Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty. Do you think? And then when I got it in the mail, you know, pop it on. Yeah. The Rare Beauty lip oils that leave you a stain, which they don't claim to stain your lip, but they do. Oh, they do. It doesn't say that it's going to leave a stain. But, so I yeah. love that though. Like I know. two for one. This is literally like the Rare Beauty lip oils. Just these are the colors that you get. So it's not duping the colors. It's almost duping the formula and what it does. Yeah. But this actually claims to stain your lip. Yeah. And it's incredible. So please, like if you're looking for a lip stain, if you need something long long wearing for like the holiday season or if you're like oh i'm at work and i don't have time to touch up my lip this is the lip for you mm -hmm. yeah now right there this photo is that one side is fully on and the other one's wiped off or is yeah. that all the colors no one there's only six on. colors yeah oh god girl i know where's I know. the nudes i know yeah, I don't know about that. It's weird though because these the arm swatches are more accurate the lip swatches i feel like are brighter because look at the pink there it almost looks red yeah i was just about to say where's that pink yeah that's yeah. that third or no fourth color down yeah where mahogany mommy is the second color down and i was okay. like because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. how much are the rare beauties 20 okay and these are 14 so it's not that much cheaper but no. i will say there is more nudes in rare beauty and when you blot them away they're more wearable. even more nude exactly they're more so, wearable like, like these full are coverage not, a lot of them are nude shades yeah. these are all like reds. red red brown and then a weird pink yeah red like give me yeah and that's so color. that's such a deceiving lie right there girl mm -hmm. like that fourth down in these arm swatches compared to the lip the swatch. lip swatches that are Look how bright that Girl, pink looks. That is, and look at that third shade down. Look how pretty that like I know. neutral mauve is. And it's not that. I know. So I don't know. The formula seems formula is nice. Great. But if you... You got to see the color. You got to make sure that you like one of these colors. And if you do, more power to you, buy it. I would purchase the pink. The yeah. Maybe I would purchase the pink. If that's what it looks like. If that was... They also extend the like the shade range. I would potentially purchase more yeah. of them. But like, yeah, why is it all like red and reddish brown? It's like, stop. So half purchase, half I guess. Half purchase, yeah. yeah. We have the Tarte Kissing Jelly Gloss. Which, first of all, what does that mean? What's a kissing jelly? I don't like that. Like, what is a kissing, kissing jelly? Kissing jelly gloss? Like, And then, okay, you're not even ready. So $22, uh -huh. mind you, this. What is Are you this? ready for the arm swatches? They all look the same. Do they all look the same? They all look the same. <gasps> what are we doing? $22. For a jelly gloss? Like, what does this do? What does this claim to do? Is there, like, certain ingredients? Do they all... So what like these shades, it's pina pretty, colada, sweet cotton candy. Oh, so are they scented? Oh, is it, I'm buying a scented lip gloss. You know. It's oh, this is Too Faced. Too Faced. Yeah. Oh. You know it's going to smell like Febreze. Yeah. Uh, it's like a lip oil kind of. Like it's their version of a lip oil. Like those stupid, like the same things uh, Tarte did with the friggin' pens. Or I'm, so, I'm so done. I'm so done with this. I know. These like weird tints of lip gloss. Like stop. I don't need my lip gloss to smell like sour watermelon or like <laughs> bubble gum. Like I'm fine. <laughs> I know. Sweet cotton candy, grape soda, bubble gum, raspberry. Who was the who was the focus group on? They were like, what flavors would you like in your lip gloss? I know. And they're like popcorn. Like, yeah. What are we and they're doing? Like, mm, yeah. No, not quite. Yeah. They're like caramel corn. You got it. Could you imagine spending $22 on just on that, that bullshit? And you know they're going to sell out. You know people Ugh. are going to eat these up. But our listeners know better. You're worth Girl, more this is, than this. this we is, don't have to live like this. We don't have to live like this. <laughs> okay. So this is the new L'Oreal True Match Concealer. 
that has this very interesting flat applicator to kind of like lay down a lot of more product and it gets to like hard to reach areas, which honestly I hate when concealers, they're like, this tip could get to hard to reach areas. I'm like, mama is small. <laughs> Girl, any it's going to get yeah. there. It's going to. Any gonna, tip can. Any tip can get there. Doesn't matter how hard it is to reach. It's not the size that counts. It's what you do with it. <laughs> exactly. The shade range. Ah, actually, I don't know if I love this shade range. Because why are we always starting with warm as the lightest color? Girl. Can and we get neutral put, ain't yellow? So why are we doing neutral? Because that looks green. Girl, crochet that on a motherfucking pillow. Can we stop with the lightest shade being warm? No one that is that pale is warm tone. That Give me pure yellow. Girl, the lightest shade in every shade range should be a cool tone, translucent alabaster fair. Mama, what are Which we Which honestly, N2 looks the lightest. Yeah, what is this like jumpy shade range over here? Because why is N3 darker than yeah. C3 and C1. then look at 6.5 and 7 look at that jump I know I don't know about the shade range girl I know she's a little spooky yeah I don't know but $13 not bad I mean I would try it at least I like the true match foundation it's pretty good for what it is oh and this is a radiant finish okay so I don't know how I feel about that either all right all right I mean crease city but uh, that's how I feel crease city I'm all about like because I don't necessarily think like radiant finishes are any better for mature dry dry skin, it should just be a hydrating formula, like the NYX Serum Concealer uh -huh. or something. Like, yeah. that is not glowy, but it looks stunning on dry skin and mature skin. skin. Like satin finish. Yeah, I find radiant yeah. finish concealers crease like a mother. Oh, they do? Yeah. Because yeah, uh, what was the other one? The Oh, the Lancome one you put on that it was gone in two seconds. Gone. And that's the thing. It looks Which pretty when it goes on because it's all the, like, you see the light reflecting off it, whatever, but yeah. then as it wears, it was gone in off Th your four skin. hours. Yeah. Off. It looked like I put nothing on. Yeah. So this is a pass for me. And now we have the Revlon Flex Wear Full Cover Concealer. With 10 shades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have... 15 shades. Why is Revlon making more products if they're going out of business? Okay, so like... Haven't they been going under for like a million years? I'm wrong, but they filed for bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Does that not mean that you're going out of business? I would imagine. If you file for bankruptcy, I understand that companies can save you because look at JCPenney. JCPenney filed for bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Like Sephora used to have a partnership and Sephora is pulled out of JCPenney. Girl. Yeah. And they filed for bankruptcy and apparently somebody saved them. Maybe someone did buy Revlon. I don't but know. Like, and then also too, but that doesn't excuse the shade range either. This is either. the worst shade this range. Is, I know. This is disappointing. And it's, it sounds like a phenomenal concealer. I know, girl. And it's sad because I'd be more excited to try this formula than the other one. I mean, I'm curious to see what the shade range is like in person. Yeah. But still that for like what? 15 shades? Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about like all that. That seems a little crazy. Because this one also is a natural finish. I know. I mean, I, I'd be more inclined to try this than the L'Oreal. And I don't get it either because my one of my favorites from Revlon, the Met Full Cover, oh. their foundation goes so deep. So I'm like, why would you come out with concealers then and only come out with 15 shades? Yeah, because those darker shades, that darkest shade is so neutral. And then we go so red and then back to being so warm. There's like, where are these other in-between shades and the deeper yeah. than truffle? I know they could go deeper than truffle. Absolutely. What is going on here? Because it's not just like it's for the under eyes. People use concealer on the face. It needs to match their complexion. Completely. It's not just a brightening thing. I would almost excuse it if this was just a brightening concealer or like mm -hmm. a, almost like the rare beauty, like the yes. positive light, like the brighteners. But this is a full-blown fuller coverage concealer. Yes. What are we doing? <laughs> totally. Okay. Yeah, I don't well, know. I'm like on the fence. So I'm going to say, look at the shade range. If you have a color, purchase it. Maybe get a highlighting color if yeah. you want to brighten your under eyes. But that sucks that you, if you can't get a match, that's like, oh, oh, well. And then the last concealer is the new Hourglass All Hours Concealer. So this is YSL. a... What did I say? Hourglass? Hourglass? What the hell am I talking about? I'm sorry. This is the YSL All Hours Concealer. It is up to 24-hour wear, bullshit, creamy, and creaseless, full coverage, 24 hours hydration. And... I also think... I I also think I said. <laughs> I also think. What is like happening with me right now? I've just had a very long day. I know. I don't like when things claim to be creaseless because mm -hmm. that is impossible. Nothing is creaseless, girl. Stop lying to people. I how know. Can they, how is that possible that they can still claim that things are creaseless? Tell me about it. It's like Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. That's all it does. I know. is crease. Yeah. yeah. But formula-wise, I'm like really into this. Girl, 
so I wore this to spam a lot. Yeah. And I, uh, Every time you talk about it, I just need you to open your robe. Yeah. And I wore this to spam a lot. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> with, uh, you know what I tried again too was that hourglass foundation. Oh, mm -mm. Girl, no. Not it's, for me. I don't get it's it. It's boot nasty. The house Wayne down. Goss just said it was one of the best foundations of the year. Well, Wayne Goss also needs to sit down. I know, girl. He has some questionable things. Because I used to love and respect him. Me too. Him. Girl, you got to watch his best foundations of 2023. One he after also, the other, I was like, my jaw kept getting Charlotte lower. Charlotte Tilbury opens her booty and eats it. And eats that booty like a fucking... Eat yeah. that booty like groceries. Because I could he, think of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is. I, he just like, he swears up and down that Charlotte Tilbury is the best brand in the whole world. I know. And I was like, ew, girl. What? I know. Have you gotten the targeted YouTube ad from her yet for that hideous eyeshadow palette they just came out with with like the aqua blue in it? No, I, there is something about her that just like the minute I hear her yeah, voice, hello, darling. <laughs> hello, darlings. She's like, it just came out with my, whatever. My um, revolutionary. Yeah. She's like, yeah, she's like, like <laughs> it, it's so stunning. I can't even, I'm gagging. Like, and I'm like, girl, like dial it down. Like, it's so cringe this. And it comes up every time now on my YouTube. Like, I need to see ads. this. Yeah, I think they know better than to show me that. I know, but I wore this and I will say, I find this to be better for like mature dry skin. Like this is more of a sheer coverage. Which I don't hate. No, it's lighter. Definitely more of a very like sheer buildable to medium coverage. Um, You need a very, like one swipe of it. It looks, it's very thin, but it still packs its pigment. I thought it was beautiful. And I, I thought do, it I wore really, beautifully. I will say I want like more colors in it too. Yeah. I want more cooler tone shades. Because I do feel like the ones that claim to be cool toned. Look, look at one, two, and five. Girl, YSL is the worst with not having cool tones. When I was buying all the high-end foundations, mm. like I had bought Dior and Givenchy first. And Dior and Givenchy's cool tones are not only cool tone. Not only do they have like C whatever, then they have CR, which is cool rose or red. Yeah. Like really, really. So... I was so used to Givenchy and Dior were so good that I was like, okay, next up, I got to try the YSL all hours. Simpsons, Simpsons yellow, every mm. foundation shade. Girl. As bad as NARS. And that's what I, I mean. Look at the shade range. I know. Why is it too that in a light, medium, deep category, we don't have equal amounts of shades across the board? All the M's in this look, look the exactly same. the same. But again, and what are we also doing know. with these numbers? Why are we doing LC1, LC2, LC5, LN1, LN1, LN4, then 17 to girl LC123 one, two, one, two, three, three. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah girl LC1, LW1, LN1, so on and so forth. But Laura Mercier or, you did her concealers like that and I love it. Laura Mercier honestly but if this was just called 1C and then it was 2C and then maybe okay I'll even take 3C. Why are we going to 5? What Where's are we three doing? And 4. It's like you talk about, I look at these sometimes and my eyes cross. I'm like, what are we doing? Uh, uh, so this, again, play with it. It's yeah, hard with concealer. You got to see if it works for you. Girl. Okay. All right, girl. All right. Next up. Bitch. We have, <laughs> <laughs> we have the Kylie lip liners. And first of all, before we judge these, I just need to say. This 1920s eats, Bob haircut. Girl, this campaign photo is a serve. Like, I have to give is, her credit. Looking like Velma Kelly from Chicago up in here. The only Catherine Zeta bitch, Jones realness. Yeah. The only bitch in and the all planet. that jazz. Like my yeah. God. That's a serve. I oh, have the video too. Cool. Because I what I loved, trends, look. trend mood uh compared them to makeup forever. And uh let me try Those to get are this. Small. Those lip girl, from let me Kylie. tell you. So for $17, Kylie is giving you 1.14 ounces of product. Makeup Forever for 22 is giving you 1.41. So 0 0.14, 0 0.41. You're getting more for Makeup Forever. Dividing that by the price, they are virtually the exact same price. Stop. So keep that in mind because you're getting less product with Kylie. So that oh, being said- Oh, and they're less money. They're seven. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. I'm obviously running the video uh, for the video podcast. You can see the swatches, but uh, for the audio and to like to see the dupe she's doing, um, I'll put the link in the description. So for me, I don't know because she does say this was trend mood. She does say that she found the makeup forever to be creamier than Kylie. So to me, I'm like, okay, 
Makeup Forever is creamier. We know Makeup Forever lasts amazing. Yeah. They're virtually the same price. Mm -hmm. She basically just duped the colors. And last but not least, the Makeup Forever can go on the eye. That's true. Makeup Forever is eye and lip. You can use them anywhere. Mama, I'm not using that on my eye. I ain't using Kylie on my eye. No, 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 no. I'm not using Makeup Forever on my eye. Oh, I have. I like those just as lip liners. Oh, I think yeah. they're stellar. I oh, get that stunning. you could use them as eye, lip, and face, whatever. Like, I'd rather just use them as lip, as liners. lip liners. And because right now, too, you have to check and don't quote me, but Ulta had a set of the three Kylie lip liners for the holidays. Mm. And it was like before the launch of them, it was three different colors. And you got like a brown, a pinky brown, and then like a more cool tone brown, I mm-hmm. think, that was like lighter. Try these out. I mean, I'm excited. Yeah. If it's a little bit more stiff, like maybe it just takes a little bit more yeah. warming up. I do the Makeup Forever liners are amazing. Yeah, that's what I mean. I love them. So you know what it is? Is honestly, I'm going to have to, because it literally is a ripoff of Makeup Forever. So Uh I'm just going to have to see how they wear compared to Makeup Forever. It's going to, the only thing, since it's virtually the same price, the same shades, the same whatever, it's literally just going to come down to a wear test between the two. And I'm curious if they're eye safe. So I doubt it. Yeah, right. All right. Uh, it's up. We have Kevin's fat lips. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh. This is the NYX fat oils. Oh my God. That pink is calling my name. One of you uh, tagged me in it. And I, they were like, oh, we already know that you're eyeing up that pink. And you are correct. I am <laughs> yeah. definitely eyeing up that pink. And so I got in like, PR. Nick's duck plump, which I Yum. still take issue with that. Um, I don't. The set. You mean ducky. It's how we're gonna, beautiful. We're going to play here on Beautiful and Bothered. We have three sets of lashes, which I find these lashes from NYX to be very hit or miss. Like some of them can be very nice cuts. Those look cool. But then that's nice. But then some of them are either like barely there or like Halloween store. And then we have, they came out with a uh, the marshmallow setting spray. What is that supposed to do? I don't know. Because the marshmallow setting spray was supposed to give you like plush make. Like, what is that doing? This says matte finish. So maybe this will be my shush. I don't know. Spray it on yourself. <laughs> a marshmallow isn't a matte finish, though. I their, know. Their the marshmallow p- primer wasn't matte. Does it smell like marshmallows? Oh, Jesus Christ. That it really is. It is a marshmallow. Oh, my honey. God. Whew. Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Wait, then, what so- even... Did oh, you ever get... So wait. these are the duck plumps. This is fierce. Oh, shut up. No. Why? Do you the feel your feels? hand? Yeah, because it's like a little sticky. Oh, it is tacky. This would be a good primer. I like one size. A, I would do this as like a priming spray. I know. Oh, how it really is sticky. Fierce. It's Don't very, use this as a setting spray. Use <laughs> yeah. this as a priming spray. That's fierce. This is really look sticky. At how, look at how like radiant the hand is. I know. Okay, low key. Oh, is that burning? <laughs> through the 12 stages Ooh. right now. You're like, I hate this. I love this. Is it burning? Oh, well. Why are my masks flopping the whole time? And yours? I guess you're dry, dry under eyes. I <laughs> suck this fucking moisture up. I know. I thought that. You fucker. I know. Did you ever end up buying any of the duck plumps? So, no. And I want the nude and I want the pink. Because these were a purchase for you. So, you got to put your money where is your there, mouth is. Is there? What shade is this? You put the purple on. And guys, this is opaque. So Kevin so, had purple lips before this. Oh, I don't know about that, girl. The everything. And so nothing. it's like a little too purpley, but actually yeah. it's kind of fierce. Oh god, I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. So this is what we're actually purchasing or passing. This is the fat oil slick <laughs> stick. It's a skinny lip balm. You want the pinky? Oh, let me see that shit. Yeah. And then we have two shades here. I'm going to put on going viral. I'm putting on the shade clout. So you They're click click. Up, so you can't put the rest of the product down. So only click up what you need. Oh, thank you for saying that because I would have kept going. Um, so this is the in the photo. This is the second shade in the photo. And yours is which one? Probably the third shade. I love the smell. Subtle. Am I getting any color off of this? Mm hmm. Am it's, I really? Yeah, this it's is like yeah, it's uh like more of a shimmery pinky. We mm. the mm. texture, the texture is a serve, girl. It's like very hydrating, and the these smell, smell, these smell really good. Great, not overpowering. No, let me phone <laughs> <laughs> wig. <Yeah>. Wig. <laughs> <gasps> 
Like it's really like every I day. Am shocking to uh, look at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. I've been no, saying it for I months. I like love. Wow, that that's is, a dirty camera. That is really pretty. Girl. I'm in love. I know. Wow. And this feels, it has a little, like a nice grip. Like, mm. Mm. Not us doing that at the same time. I that know. was gross. <laughs> no, these are a serve. I, I would know. purchase these immediately. $11 too. This Girl, is great. That's great. And this then, is the best click format thing I think I've we've ever had. Yeah. Like, this is incredible. Not so me what flipping is flipping my eye mask back Like on. it's hair. <laughs> yeah. This is my hair. And then these are the pro <laughs> fix sticks. This is my hair. This I is hope my wig. These don't suck, girl. <gasps> Because these seem like concealer sticks. Oh my god! Oh my god! So these They're are so the creamy. Pro fix. All right, girl, the masks are coming off because mine are fucking soaked in. Oh my god! These are like very. Let me see that color correcting shade. Is that the one that you have right now? Yes. Is it gorge? Uh, yeah. And they're almost like the Bobby Brown, like color correcting sticks, <gasps> which I love. But I honestly, for the price point That's too, these I mean. are probably cheap. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So is this like totally the wrong color for me? No, I think as a color corrector okay. that it might actually work. Wow, your under eyes look great. Thank you. Did you look at them yet? No. Um, I'm sorry with that. Yeah. You could use a little more here. Uh, the blue vein. The out blue. Here. I can't believe like no one's been talking about this more pro fix sticks. Like I feel like NYX always is the one coming out with things that are like duping like Mac and Bobby Brown. Bobby you Brown. know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're making, they're not just doing the same old shit. Like, yeah, this true. is really a, what other drugstore brand has like concealer sticks like this that yeah, are true. How does that look? Wow. That looks really yeah. good. Wow. It really does color. It gives you a great base for concealer. Yeah. This is super cool, guys. Wow. Pro fix sticks, they're called. Wow. That's super dope. Wow. Yeah. So that was NYX. The fat oils and the fix Purchase. sticks are purchases, girl. Wow. Obsessed. And we take a nose dive. <laughs> we have the Clinique Lunar New Year collection. Why are you going to do that? I know. It's not even Christmas yet. We're already doing the Lunar New Year. So we basically just put new packaging on pre-existing products. And then we came out with this gray gold highlighter that is $29 for one highlighter. We don't even have like a Lunar New Year stamp in it. We just have the C from Clinique. And what is that like desert sand moving in the background on the imprint? And girl, what is what that is color? That? Sacagawea coin. Girl, that's disgusting. That is like a big gold coin, like green from gold. From 1922 that yeah. has tarnished. Tarnished, like green gold. It is tarnished gold. Who's wearing that? Who is seeing this and being like, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also don't understand the brands putting their regular products with like the Chinese New Year packaging. Like, why not just come out with new products and like maybe do like a limited edition collection? Are you just that lazy? Clinique, girl. I know, but still, like don't even participate then don't participate they come out with no, one new product every three years and i have a question for the chinese new year products do they donate some of the money to like a chinese based like foundation or fund or anything Not that i saw if you're going to participate in the chinese new year like celebration at least make it like a point of why you're doing it not just to do it to have exactly. like a cash grab you want to talk about the difference last year i got invited to an event with glow recipe for the lunar new year both of the founders are Asian women. Didn't do anything collab with Glow Recipe for the Lunar New Year. Had a dinner to celebrate it because at the time, of course, not surprisingly, there was another mass shooting and it was like all a big Asian community. They donated money in everyone's name in the dinner Aww. in our names to the relief. Unpublicized, didn't say anything, didn't even post it on social media that they did that. And then you have Clinique. Have a reasoning and have a meaning behind it and maybe I'll be down for this, but Clinique, stick to black honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Liquid Gem Foundation. Why is it in a pot like it's loose powder? Girl, and let me tell you. Why it's is there not 10 even shades? <laughs> it's... Can we talk about the shades? Have they not learned? Has Tarte not learned their lesson? They don't give a fuck. She does not give a shit. What Tarte even? Tarte just doubles down. Wait, wait, 
wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I just unlocked something. I think I saw this. It's exclusive to QVC, I think. I thought you were going to say Kmart. I swore that QVC had like the exclusive on this <laughs> and then it was going to be at other retailers. Like QVC had the lead on this. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. even Ulta, not even like Sephora. And I get Tarte is probably bigger at Ulta because of shape tape and everything. Ulta didn't even get the lead on this. But I you're know. Telling me QVC did. This foundation catches the light for a youthful glow customizable full coverage with a weightless feeling like a second skin and a laser cut brush. So you have a factory made brush <laughs> yeah. and a foundation that makes you look wet. Groundbreaking. But then also is full coverage, but it gives you a youthful glow. Because it looks wet. A sweaty full coverage wet foundation. You already know you pull back that seal on this and it's just this is not the packaging Messy. for a liquid foundation. What are you supposed to goop that out every single time you use yeah, it? You just yeah. Because I bet Ooh. you there's one of those nettings on it, it too is. that you like. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, that's doing something to me. Yeah. That is a fishing net. And yeah. Just, yeah. I don't like it. I don't and like how it. Unsanitary. No. That is. So you're supposed to goop your brush in that little brown and you hole. Know the, and then. <laughs> And you're telling me the circle around it is not getting filthy, dirty, disgusting, filthy, and then dirty, you're putting it on your goop. face and then you're dipping the brush back into the product. It's not like a pump that it's nothing's not getting in the pump. Tart. You want to get fucking pumped? You want to get pumped? <laughs> Girl. Pass if it wasn't clear. Oh, my God. OK, this is our last one. And then we're going to end with our last box. OK. Girl, give it to me now. The next up is She Glam Chromazone. Great drag name. <laughs> Chromazone yeah. collection. Yeah. Girl. This Vanessa is Vanessa Myricks, like full blown these and like you know chrome she flakes. It's three ninety nine. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, <laughs> the delivery of that, the whole collection, which is the three uh, flakes and the you're getting eighty five products for thirty dollars. <laughs> and this is a ticker factory. Literally, the six <laughs> liners, which look at the liners, the holographic liners. Yeah, the whole set is thirty dollars. Yeah. So then the eye pencils are three fifty. <laughs> Literally, you just said that. Each. <laughs> the chrome <laughs> pencils. And look at the swatches of the pencils. Blow my back out with these. Wait. Girl. Wait, yeah. What is that one shade called? <laughs> I thought that first shade said on top. And I was like, <laughs> I hope he yeah. is. Top, bottom. Yeah. And a side. Girl. And a side. That's a thing. What does that mean? Sides are a thing. Oh, God. I'll tell you off Gays camera. are too much. I'll tell you off camera. Is it too much to say on camera? No. It uh, means you... Uh, you, don't, you only do like oral and hand stuff. You don't do in the <laughs> shoot. <laughs> I'm bleeping that for everybody. <laughs> Good to know. I'm a ceiling. I'm a ceiling. I'm making up a new term. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? What are you fucking talking about? You're a ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it like i didn't understand what you were talking about um okay these are fucking stunning for 350 oh my god and then girl <gasps> six that's so expensive 699 yeah that's expensive the multi-chrome is it for all four of them Blake <laughs> gel yeah right uh look at these girl oh my god look they're beautiful these. for 699 Whoa. Uh, Cosmic, Cosmic Pearl, Pearl and, and hypnosis. hypnosis. Mama. And you know why I'm excited to try collection. these? Because I'm wondering if they are, while Danessa Myricks is amazing, we said this on the episode, we talked about them, one of the gift sets for holiday. I think you have to be a little bit more. They're hard to work they're with. They're hard to work with. So I'm almost yeah. wondering if these they do similar, chunky. but they're less chunky dunky, like Danessa Myricks. This like, collection was in existence before. Did you, this was something that they're bringing back. Oh, I didn't know that. This was in existence before. They, she Glam did this collab. I remember seeing them say something about this, like coming back, like because this was such a hot collection. They were like, we're going to bring something back. That was one of our, favorites mm. they were the, apparently they are claiming that they were the first ones to do duochrome really she glam that's what they said with this collection they were the first ones to do duochrome so let me uh, also some tea was on the trend mood post of this there is a influencer that i know as well as you who made a comment saying you'll never be Denessa myricks 
And so many people were coming for them in the reply saying, she glam has been doing this for years. Like she glam did it before Dennis and Myricks. So I bring that up to say that that's interesting that you say that yeah. because it seems like they that, did this first. Wow. They did this. And which is even more odd that the Danessa little pots look so similar to this girl. Exactly. And yeah. that the formula is maybe not as great. I mean, yes, Danessa has more colors of it, but yeah. just because you have more colors doesn't mean the formula is better. And this formula looks hot. So I have like, a, I, I have know. a con. I obviously we know people at She Glam. What we should just, uh, we'll email them and ask them about this, the history of the duochrome situation. Yeah, like I to would see love what to they know. say. Because in their post or somewhere, I saw that they said that they were the first ones to originate duochrome. Wow, that's they were like the, one of like the first brands, mm -hmm. which is incredible. So, so yeah, the whole purchase. set is thirty dollars, girl. Then <clears> three fifty <throat> for the liners. Amazing. All right, so yeah, purchase for this. That's our last uh, photo there, and now uh, our last purchase or pass is a PR box. This is the Rydell High, which enough with the movie collaborations, Revolution and Grease. Why do we need this girl? Girl, oh, paper thin. Where do we have that knife? Are you sitting on it? Is it up your mm, ass? No, I wouldn't feel it. I feel okay. like a disappointed kid on Christmas. I have the Pink Ladies palette. I have the T-Birds palette. <gasps> I can tell they are so dry. Girl, what a boo-boo boring color story. And then why do we have an... What is this? Is then that we a palette? Have, why do they always do nine palettes for the same collection? I will say Revolution is Barbara's blush. Oh. That's Sandy. The um, that This blush. is literally almost exactly what Barbara wears. What is this? Barbara, please. Barbara, please. Uh, no, right? this is... Girl. Barbara, please. <laughs> and you're wearing her robe. I is know. she coming into full effect yeah. right now? Is this how you put it on? Well, if you saw me put on Barbara's blush, you would be shocked. Because it's like slightly blended, but I do like three layers of it. Like it's like so much. And this is so pigmented, this blush. This is a beautiful cream blush. I wish you could see yourself. What do you mean? Oh. Hi. This is actually really pretty. This is the Rizzo. Look at that. Oh, wow. These that, blushes are so... Okay. Even the one that you're wearing girl, is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that is stunning. I like. The cream blushes wow. are gorgeous in the revolution wow. situation. I know you were going to hate these lips. Let's That's see. the pinky most. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks like Mac packaging, which. Interesting. Wow. Are you gagging? No. No. Not at all. I can never tell with you. Oh, no. It is boo boo. <laughs> Girl. Oh my the fucking God. Terracotta. That is so disgusting. Have you ever Johnny? seen someone wear this lip color in the wild? But every brand has 50 of these. I've seen it. And you know who wears it? Girl, why? Boo boo grandmas that don't know no better. I thought I you were going like to put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Put the well, on. And then we have a brush shed. Wow. Lies. I was going to say. <laughs> you sounded like fucking. Uh, it's lies. With the C. Bro. With the C. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is the most orange red I have ever seen like, in my are we life. Joking? Ew. Guys, can you guys see that? These could be cute. Are they? I don't know. Open that. Up. I want to put Rizzo on. That red boo boo? Yeah, yeah. Why? Look at me already. Put it on with no mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, girl, put it on. Put on the lipstick, girl. Put it on, girl. Put the lipstick on. These brushes are bent. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get the cute foods, though. They are so feather. I can, like, fling these across the room. They're so light. What are these, like, boo boo Amazon, like, brushes, girl? Oh, oh my God. The one's on. <laughs> Who's a pretty girl? <laughs> You? How's it look? Horrible. It's so lopsided. Gross. Oh, God. who's doing what with this? I know. I, I know. know. So the only thing from this grease collection, girl, the cream blushes were stunning. They were beautiful. Everything else is garbage. <laughs> Literally garbage. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel very unsettled looking at you. You are <laughs> blue shirt, red robe. Blue shirt, <laughs> red robe. <laughs> That shouldn't be allowed in, in the, the theater. <laughs> this is you going to the show. This is what you My <laughs> pretty mama. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God. We cannot. Can you tell my us this is our third to last episode of the year? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you've all done to us. Yeah. This is mentally where we are. <laughs> oh my God. 
Hey guys, that's it for a brand new episode. <laughs> this is our the episode where we, yeah, the, the energy level and the vibe we're feeling. But the next two, I feel like we're going to be super elegant because they're the last two episodes of the year. Oh. It is the official Beautiful and Bothered awards. Best of the Year Awards. Oh my God. We're gonna you guys split have it. been asking for this and we are going to deliver. We're going to deliver. <laughs> we're going to split it up into two episodes. Makeup and then probably the second episode is going to be hair fragrance, care, fragrance, skincare. and skincare. Because yeah. fragrance this year, that fragrance I told you I wore to spam a lot. Yeah. Was, Thank you for delivering. I, a rot, like maybe better than my... Your... Oh. Because you know why? I felt like it lasted longer. It was on me all night. The, like... Yes. Oh, oh so of course. Of course. Gonna, of course. Of course. Of course. What do you mean? <laughs> We're going to come back with that and be all elegante. So this was, I feel like it was us opening presents on Christmas morning. Yeah, like two kids in our PJs. You're the deranged mom. You're like, yeah, go yeah. to bed. Sweet yeah, mommy yeah. wants to drink now. Uh, Santa blew my back out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. You want to do it? This is going to be scary after <laughs> the know. day I've had. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did you already oh. say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> hey, thank you for tuning into a brand new episode of Beautiful <laughs> You can't even get it out. Oh. Okay, really focus. Oh. oh my god. Okay. Thank you for watching a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. Thank you for watching a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. If you want your video one day early, subscribe to our official YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Instagram and TikTok now mm -hmm. to get your bonus clips. Make sure you subscribe also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and leave us a five-star review because it really helps us. And we want to be here forever and love you and provide content and do that. Wherever you are, we hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. And remember... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are beautiful. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> Kiss mama.